At 2.30 p.m., Shloyma R., a malamed in the local cheder, is in the butcher shop paying for a prime rack of lamb. That'll be $132. And so it begins. I know it's not my business, but my cousin in L.A. saw that people are saying all kinds of things about your husband on Facebook. Here's the rack of lamb you asked me to pick up for the Shavu Brachas. It was exactly $132. By 2.53, over 400 people in the community now think they know that there are serious problems with Shlomi R. And the news is spreading to Muncie. Lakewood, Lawrence, Chicago, Miami, and L.A. Shlomo, people are saying crazy things about you. Did you really spend $100 at the butcher? At 2.29 this afternoon, Shlomo R. was a beloved Rebbe and a respected member of the community. By 2.55, less than a half hour later, his life and that of his wife and children was destroyed. In the time it took for Shlomo to walk home, over 400 people became convinced that he was actually loaded with unexplained money and might be a poor role model for his Talmidim in the Cheder. Only none of it was true. And if it was true, that in and of itself is considered Lashon Hara. If Lashon Hara is like a gun that can destroy a person, Lashon Hara on the internet is like a weapon of mass destruction. How many people have been ruined like this? How many times did we destroy the Besamikdash today? Next time you're about to send or forward an email, text, or post about someone, think before you click. <laughs>